Here's like my top. I got it from Windsor. Hi, and welcome. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, thank you for coming back. So what if I told you that you could achieve anything that you want, anything, because you have your own reserve of motivation. I watch you, brush your teeth twice a day, keep up with that Netflix original, right? That takes some kind of dedication. You might be thinking, well, Netflix originals are actually enjoyable as compared to doing homework. Well, let me explain more. But before I get into why I think you are an amazing and very capable human being, go ahead and check out my introduction video where I explain more about what the purpose of this channel is. And if that sounds like something you like, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Subscribe button. It really helps this channel. Let's get cozy because, you know, we're just a personal, this is very, uh, lighthearted chat, okay? My big reveal is that you're not lazy. You just haven't unlocked your full potential yet. Honestly, I'm right there with you. You've probably heard that, like, a million times. And it's like, well, I've tried everything, I've read everything, you know. But let me explain exactly. I have one simple answer, and that is find out what works for you. And I'll explain in depth about that. Make it more clear. So for this example, this video to make it more um, understandable, I'm going to use my hair care as an example of what I mean with like being consistent. Again, there's only one main point, which is to find out what works for you. However, I'm going to use um, my hair care as an example, and that is because that's like the one thing where I can actually recognize what it is that I do that helps keep me consistent. So that way I can make it um, more clear for you to understand exactly what I mean. That's be broken into, that will be broken into like six like little points. So it's not like six steps um, and this isn't to tell you like this is how to do it. This will work for you, you know, this is just what works for me and you can try these to see and these will, you know, work for you. These are in no particular order. I just wrote them down. However, the last point, um, that one I think should be last because it's, you know, basically it's actually doing the thing. <coughs> I'm okay. <laughs> All right, so the first point is visualization. And so how that works for me is, it might sound kind of silly, but I kind of visualize, um, you know, like long luscious hair and it's like healthy and shiny and all of that kind of stuff. And that actually like motivates me to, okay, like I need to go, you know, do this for my hair. I need to rehydrate or, you know, drink my water make sure I'm hydrated you know or um, you know do deep conditions like all that kind of stuff make sure I wrap my hair up at night with my you know headscarf so sometimes um, so visualizations can help so kind of just being able to visualize see yourself you know doing the task and doing it successfully or enjoying yourself while you're doing it my second point is to make a firm declaration to yourself so I um, cut off like all of my hair down to like two, three inches. That was April, 2018. And since then I've, you know, been like really dedicating myself on this healthy hair journey, making sure I take care of my hair. Um, and I told myself, I said, I am not going to cut it off again. Okay, because my goal is to get it to hip length. So I can't get there if I'm going to be chopping off my hair, you know? So that was kind of like a really, um, like strong statement that I made with myself, you know, kind of like, almost like, kind of like a promise, you know? So something like that can help. The third point is to feel the emotion. 
um, you know, kind of think about, you know, how do you feel when you do your favorite thing? You know, you usually feel very good. And I understand, like, that doing something that you may not particularly want to do may not feel very good. Um, so I think the key would be to, you know, do your best to understand how you can turn it, turn it around, look at it differently to make it feel good for you to do it because in some way if you're needing to do something then it's ultimately it's for the betterment of yourself in some way so try to find that and feel good about that like okay this is you know long term this is for me you know at the end of the day if you are still with me please comment i got this down below in the comment section so i know you're still with me thank you so much we were on point three so we have three more to go so not much longer if the feel the emotion one is kind of difficult because it's just something that you just, you know, you just cannot get yourself to enjoy doing for whatever reason, then, you know, maybe that's something that won't work for you. So you can just omit that one. Um, but again, these are all what works for me. So it's just about showing you how to you know, figure out what works for you in a way, you know, like, so while you're doing your favorite task, whatever that is, that you do consistently, whether it's important or unimportant, just, you know, a hobby or something like that, kind of try and identify, like, what drives you to do that, like, each day or consistently, like, do you have a certain thought before you do the action? Is there a feeling that you feel? Is there a goal? Stuff like that. All right, point four is state your why. So stating your why is why are you doing this? You know, is there, again, kind of like the emotion. So it's like, okay, why am I doing this? Is there a goal behind it? Kind of like me where I'm like, my goal is to get to hip length. So that is my why for doing it. Also the reasons I just really like long hair. I want to be able to take care of my hair. I want it to be healthy inside and outside. So those are my whys for why I'm doing this action. Why am I rehydrating my hair? Well, because your hair, keeping your hair moisturized keeps it from drying out, breaking off. Um, why am I, why do I wrap my hair at night? To protect my hair from drying out, all of that kind of stuff. So state your why. I think this one is very important, which is, which is step, uh, well not step, but point five for me, which is belief that every little step counts, no matter how small it is, because that's a big thing because I think if we don't see progress like right away then we tend to fall off or feel like okay this isn't working or you know I'm not seeing results I'm not seeing any reward for these actions that I'm doing complete doing and doing like you know because again you know I understand for me like you know again for my hair it's it's gonna take a while to get to hip length you know it's not gonna be overnight it's not gonna even be in a year you know it's gonna be you know just you know a couple years from now so you know you have to have something especially if it's a, kind of a goal like that you have to have something that keeps you going keeps you consistently doing it and not you know needing immediate results for you to keep going like you know okay like this is where I'm going so each action little thing I'm doing each day no matter how small all of that adds up all of it counts and the sixth point of course where I put this one last, although the others were no in particular order for me, the last one is deliberate action, which of course means actually doing the thing. So it's not just, you know, imagining visualization and all of that stuff is great, um, but it doesn't mean much if you're not actually taking action to get towards those goals. You know, it's the same as uh, analysis paralysis, you know, you keep researching, researching, um, you know, reading, getting notes, all that writing and planning but no actions being taken, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, I, I know I, I can do that a lot. So I am definitely speaking from experience. I have to get myself out of that and say, okay, it's time to actually take action, you know? And I understand that's like the hardest one, obviously is just doing the thing. Like they say, you just do it. So again, for me, all of those work for me. Um, and again, th this can be applied to whatever else in your life that you're wanting to you know, become more consistent with and build and building discipline in. But like I said, it's all work for me. It's just was kind of, this was just a guide to help you figure out how to do it. So 
again, start with something that you enjoy doing and then try and break down, okay, like, what are the components that's making me do this? All right, lovelies, this is all I have for this video. I hope it left you feeling uplifted, inspired, and motivated to go out and, you know, just get your life together. We all, this is what we're all doing, right? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments if this video was relevant for you or if you've kind of already established your own um, sort of plan, your own little secret recipe for what keeps you consistent and motivated and disciplined, you know, even if you're not seeing immediate results or if it's a long term goal, like what keeps you going. Make sure to like, subscribe and share. This really helps um, this growing channel and ultimately helps you because then you get to continue seeing my content and you can continue having these great little chats. I love it. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope I get to see you guys in my next video. Bye!